So since you visited last uh, to film sort of the, the, the take up of the program, we've been busy planning, designing and, and coming up with the Flexi space. I guess since last time we've actually gone through the refurbishment of the classrooms up here. So that's been a big thing for us. The students were very excited and we were very excited to get them into the space. The students' involvement in that process was really great and some of the elements within the Flexi space are, are student designed. So it's not something that's just been done to them, it's been done with them. It's a different environment for kids that are um, experiencing difficulties in the traditional classroom. It's not a, a space where students are um, not engaging in the same curriculum. They're engaging in exact same curriculums as their peers out in the mainstream school. Um, so they still have the exact same rigors, exact same requirements, exact same deadlines, um, but taking account in this environment where they can be more successful at achieving it. It's not just about having flexi space students in here, it's about having access for the whole school to come up and partake, whether it be in the classroom or sharing lessons with the students. It's also about getting it out there to the community to understand the purpose of flexi space and why we have the students up here and how we're helping them to re-engage with our curriculum. It's not an indefinite program where kids are allowed to be here forever. It's designed to uh, get those kids to re-engage, catch up in areas where they may have fallen behind, with the whole idea of them integrating back into the mainstream school. Having a space, it allows for um, myself to bring, you know, teachers in with more uh, curriculum knowledge or better curriculum knowledge than what I may have. Um, and I use the example of the Year 9 Chemistry um, class. So we're combining um, classes and we do labs and a, as a combination so that kids keep that link as well as we do in-class lessons where the kids can still um, have contact with their peers and, and still feel connected to the school. The practicality of the space and the program has thrown up some challenges. So students are coming inside, in, in and out of the program uh, quite regularly, so going out to those classes. So staff have to catch those students up on information and, and um, skills that they're missing during the, those lessons that they're out and about. Having the space to do that and the, the size of the cohort involved allows those teachers to go back and individually catch those students up and develop those. So that's something that when uh, students transition out, we have new tr students transition in that we need to be mindful of and put strategies around so that we're not missing students when they go back out into those, those mainstream classes. So staffing was something we really had to consider when, when setting up the space. We needed staff with really good relationship skills and staff that did know their, their content knowledge as well so that we could merge and blend those two together because we know that having a high quality teacher in front of our students is the single most best predictor of academic success. Um, so having our, our two staff involved um, has been fantastic. Uh, resourcing that it was quite difficult. Um, it's something that the school's funding, uh, so it's not come from regional as, or central as an extra uh, additional fund. Um, so we've had to be creative in, in the use of how we use resources within the school to create the space. So over the last six months as we've started developing and constructing the Flexi space, we've been really well supported by our central regional and our Glenmore High staff and I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself and I've got a really strong team here on the ground. Kim Fredericks, our regional director, has been really supportive in, in helping us get um, initiatives and if ever the roadblocks have come up she's helped us work through those and our central office team have always been um, down the other end of a phone call or um, on the end of an email to have those conversations with us. Feedback on the space has been really positive, the, the openness of, of the area. Um, we've now got classes coming up and asking to, to come and bring their classes up. So the staff have had to uh, work through that process and develop a timetable around when those staff can come up and visit. So they still have those uh, times when they've got the space just to themselves, um, but still are inviting others to come in and be a part of the, the flexi space, being part of this great resource that we now have and um, see what's happening inside flexi space. Different students have come and taken on a program in different ways. I've seen students grow in confidence. Um, I've seen students develop uh, further in their curriculum knowledge and skills. I've seen students develop further in behavioural aspects. So it's a great all-around program. So in the short term, we've seen student behaviour and effort really increase. And in the long term, we'll start seeing the um, academic growth uh, improve. We've also seen um, student confidence and pride uh, in school and themselves increase as well. This is an awesome opportunity for our school and our students. We have um, a very diverse group of students at our school and we want the opportunity to provide them with an education that gets them through to senior schooling but also helps them in life. And if 
getting them into a, a place where they're resetting high expectations and helping them to achieve. That's really what we want our students to do. Um, all teachers have that passion and want to help students and um, this, this space, um, taking into account the, the new pedagogies and different types of pedagogies and different technologies that are coming on board, makes it more available for us to do. Long term, I can see this space becoming uh, replicated throughout the school where it's not just flexi space students or the students who are disengaging from school uh, are operating within the space. It's actually how we do teaching and learning at Glenmore High.